What's up guys, Nick and Ben here today, uh, working on the Harley truck. It's been here way too long, we spent way too much time on it, but we figured out what the issue is, and after weeks of waiting for an exhaust system and finding somebody who had one of these things in stock, we have the Bassani exhaust. So we're gonna unbox it, it's already got the cats on it, Magnaflow High Flow cats, and now this is a Bassani short exhaust, short meaning it comes from the front of the wheel like a lightning rather than the rear of the wheel. So, I'll show you guys opening it up. They really sealed that thing up. I was wondering how it hangs the tip. Yeah, I think we'll leave them wrapped up until they're on, huh? Yeah. No one boxed in there yet. Sorry, people. Nice. Yeah. That is a heavy muffler. No branding on it or nothing. That's a big muffler. Yeah, it's very heavy. So there's a sneak peek of the parts. It looks like it came with a hanger, which I was curious. Because it, re you know, the tips on the F-150 come out the, underneath the bed in the back. Where this is going to now put it here instead of here. So I was like, oh, I wonder what it's going to hang the tip off of. But it comes with a bracket. It's all stainless, too. It's nice stuff. So far, so good. Hopefully it bolts up quick. We're going to get it up on the rack. And... Uh, you guys what it takes to put this bad boy on. All right, truck is in the air. So we had the cats on and we tightened them up already. So now we're going to loosen them up for fitment. But you can see it's all new, new O2 sensors. Magnaflow high flow cats, like I said. New rear O2 sensors. They fit pretty nice so far. Hopefully they cooperate with the Bassani exhaust just as well. So that's what's next. We're gonna loosen these up so we have a little bit of movement in them. Get the Bassani muffler in here. We're gonna lay out the parts for the Bassani stuff over in the front over there so we know what we're working with. Might take a glance at the directions because it's probably a good idea. And uh, start getting it together. All right, we almost had a false alarm. We thought there were some missing pieces, but we're good. Anxiety has now fallen. Got two little extension tubes, which is what we missed in the packaging. I move the exhaust over, hanger goes right there, a little bit of lube to hang the muffler, and the tailpipe's right out the side. It should be nice and easy. Can't wait to hear what it sounds like. Will it sound better than the lightning? Yeah. Good joke. At least we'll have a muffler on it. <laughs> so, good progress. Parts are really limited. Couple things that I'm mad, Bassani, this is really stupid that you sell a whole stainless steel exhaust system and then give aluminized band clamps. Come on, $700 cap back. It's an extra $3 per band clamp. <laughs> Step it up. Anyway, rant over. We're gonna get it together and uh, we'll show you guys once it's completed how it hangs. All right, so the exhaust is on the F-150. Um, I think a piece of advice, because we are good at ranting, is just get the same brand. Unfortunately, we couldn't find exhaust for this truck, but the, having the Magnaflow catbacks with the Bassani rear is not the most desired thing. So, anyway. Looks good, it sits great. Shoot, shot All right, exhaust is on, truck is on the ground. First start, cold, it's almost cold start. Is it cold start? Oh. <laughs> Close enough.
What's up guys and thank you for watching this video. The Harley F-150 was quite the learning experience with the bad cats. Uh, but we were very happy that we were able to figure it out. It did go from uh, a couple different shops that one put the motor in it and it still ran poorly. They couldn't quite figure it out. Uh, then I even brought it to a couple people I know personally and we couldn't really, nothing really pointed to the cats being bad. So I'm glad that this truck got wrapped up, unfortunately, due to some technology problems. I wasn't able to upload the video footage that we got of the sound of the truck inside. But I highly recommend the system that we put on it. Like I did reference a couple times in the video, it was kind of a mismatch between the cats and the catback exhaust, which led to some fitment issues. But it was very minimal. It was just really the ID of the two different companies. Um, it, everything went fine. There was no exhaust leaks. There's nothing major, but you just got to clamp down a little bit extra on the Bassani cat back in order to come down to the Magnaflow cats. But otherwise, I, I do recommend both components that we use in this video. The truck runs awesome now, and it sounds fantastic. And even though pictures of the uh, exhaust in front of the wheel on the F-150s kind of make it look kind of strange, in person it looks awesome. It looks way better than it does be behind the exhaust. I really liked it a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. We are working on about four or five videos as I'm recording the ending of this video. Um, so we'll be getting those all out to you guys in the next couple weeks. So once again, thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. See you guys in the next video.